Welcome back guys to my channel. For this video, we will talk about the first lesson of grade 10 mathematics, the arithmetic sequence. So please keep on watching because I will explain arithmetic sequence clearly and easy to understand. Bago po tayo magpatuloy at kung bago ka rin sa aking channel, pwede po bang makiusap sa iyo na please subscribe. Matutulungan mo ako sa aking channel at tutulungan din kita sa iyong pag-aaral sa mathematics. Hit mo na rin guys ang notification bell para updated ka sa sunod-sunod ng mga math videos na i-upload ko dito sa aking at channel. All grade levels po ng school mathematics ang mapapanood ninyo dito. Magsimula na nga po tayo ng ating arithmetic sequence. Unahin po natin ang definition. A sequence is a function whose domain is the finite set 1, 2, 3 up to n or the infinite set 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth. If we say finite set, it has a beginning or the first term represented by 1 and it has an end or a last term which is n representing any number. If we say infinite set, it has beginning or first term represented by 1 and it has no end or no last term represented by ellipses or dot dot dot. Before I introduce to you what is an arithmetic sequence, let us first take this activity number 1 entitled What's Next? Number 1, the sequence is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and what's next? Yes, you are correct. It is 9. The question is how or paano? Since the numbers are sequential and basically we learned that since preschool, we are easily determined that the next number is 9. But let us dig deeper why it is really 9. And to dig deeper and clear for us why the answer is 9 is answering the questions What shall we do to 4 to become 5? And what shall we do to 5 to become 6? The same what we did to 4 to become 5. And the same what shall we do to 8 to become 9. Therefore, the specific answer is adding 1 to get the next term. By that, we can say that 4 plus 1 equals 5, 5 plus 1 equals 6, 6 plus 1 equals 7, 7 plus 1 equals 8, and 8 plus 1 equals 9. Next, number 2, the sequence are 5, 8, 11, 14, and what's next? Once again, next number is 17. How? Again, it's because 5 plus 3 equals 8, 8 plus 3 equals 11, 11 plus 3 equals 14, and 14 plus 3 equals 17. So 17 is the next number. Next sequence is 18, 11, 4, negative 3, and what's next? The question is, what shall we do to 18 to become 11 that we will do repeatedly until we get the next number? The answer is we will continue to add negative 7 or simply minus 7 until we get the next number which is negative 10. By the help of that activity, we can now define arithmetic sequence. It is a sequence where every term after the first term is obtained by adding constant called the common difference. And all the examples in the what's next activity are examples of arithmetic sequence. In the sequence 4, 7, 10, and 13, 4 is the first term denoted by a sub 1, 7 is the second term denoted by a sub 2, 10 is the third term denoted by a sub 3, 13 is the fourth term denoted by a sub 4 or a sub n. 3 is added to 4 to become 7, added to 7 to become 10, added to 10 to become 13. So therefore, 3 is called the common difference. Or in other way, just subtract the last term to the 
preceding term to get the common difference. The formula for arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d where a sub n is the last term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. Problem number 1. Find the 18th term of a sequence 3, 9, 15, 21, and so on. To identify the given, a sub 1 equals 3, a sub n equals question mark, d equals 6. To get the common difference, just subtract the next term to its preceding term. And just because we are getting the 18th term, so therefore the value of n equals 18. To substitute the values on the formula, we have a sub 1 by 3, n by 18, d by 6, and a sub n is unknown. Solve first inside the parentheses, so 18 minus 1 is 17, 17 multiplied by 6 is 102, 3 plus 102 equals 105. Therefore, the 18th term of the arithmetic sequence is 105. <laughs> Problem number 2. Find the 32nd term of an arithmetic sequence 33, 29, 25, 21 following that pattern. For our given, a sub 1 or first term is 33, last term or a sub n is question mark, common difference or d is negative 4, n equals 32. To substitute on the formula, a sub 1 by 33, n by 32, d by negative 4, and a sub n is unknown. Solve first inside the parentheses, 32 minus 1 is 31. 31 multiplied to negative 4 is equal to negative 124. Next, solve 33 minus 124. Since they are on different sign, we will subtract 124 minus 33 equals 91 and follow the sign of 124 which is negative. So, a sub n equals negative 91. <laughs> Problem number 3. What is the first term of an arithmetic sequence with 28 terms whose last term is 254 and the common difference is 5. Dito nga guys, sa particular problem na ito, may kunting twist tayo kasi first term ang hinahanap. To identify the given, the first term or a sub 1 is unknown, the last term or a sub n is 254, d is equal to 5, and n equals 28. To substitute on the formula, we have 254 equals a sub 1 plus quantity 28 minus 1 times 5. 28 minus 1 equals 27. 27 times 5 equals 135. Next, to combine like terms, we will transpose plus 135 to the left will become minus 100. 35. Then, subtract 254 minus 135. So, our a sub 1 is 119. Therefore, the first term of the arithmetic sequence is 119. Next problem, number 4. How many terms are in the arithmetic sequence whose first term is negative 25? Common difference is 12 and the last term is 539. Given a sub 1 is negative 25, a sub n equals 539, d equals 12, and n is unknown. May twist na naman tayo sa ating problem number 4. Substituting the values on the formula, so we have 539 equals negative 25 plus quantity n minus 1 times 12. First to solve is removing parentheses by distributive property. 12 times n is 12n, negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. Combine like terms, minus 25 minus 12 is minus 37. Transpose negative 37 to the left will become plus 37. 539 plus 37 equals 576. Divide both sides by 12. Cancel 12 from 12n. 576 divided by 12, n equals 48. Therefore, the arithmetic sequence has 48 terms. 
fifth and last problem. Find the common difference of an arithmetic sequence with a sub 1 equals 12 and a sub 21 equals negative 128. For the given, a sub 1 equals 12, a sub n equals a sub 21 equals negative 128, so n equals 21 and d is unknown. Substituting the values on the formula, we have negative 128 equals 12 plus quantity 21 minus 1 times D. Solve first inside the parenthesis, 21 minus 1 is 20. Next is transpose 12. From positive 12 to the right will become negative 12 to the left. Negative 128 minus 12 equals negative 140. Divide both sides by 20. Cancel natin ang 20 from D. Negative 140 divided by 20 equals negative 7. Therefore, the common difference of the arithmetic sequence is negative 7. Sorry po kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video na to, please like and share. At kung hindi ka pa po nakakapag-subscribe, please subscribe na po para tuloy-tuloy ang ating pag-aaral. Kung may tanong pa po at kung nais pa kayong liwanagin or nais kong i-discuss sa aking video, please gamitin po ang comment section sa baba. Yan po ay aking tutugunan.